Hello and welcome to episode 26 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on hopefully getting a sheep or trying to get a sheep. Uh, we need a sheep because we need wool in order to uh, progress with our armour. So I've got 47 traps in my slot to the left there you can see. Let's get close to this sheep and give it a try. Now I'm expecting it to take two, two tries to get him and hopefully I'm chasing him in the direction of what I did manage to clear a little while ago. So, oh there we go and oh I've got something attacking me. I've got the sheep though but I'm going to be probably dead because Oh no, I'm alright. They didn't do that much harm. Now I think I got that sheep. Or maybe I didn't. Uh, where'd he go? Yeah, I did get him. Cool. Right, so let's take the sheep back and then let's see if we can get our cow. Just check I'm going the right way. I am. So the sheep, I had a, I had a feeling that the sheep was near my base. So let's do him to follow take him back and start getting wool. Now because I've built a decent sized pen um, I could be able to stick all these animals in that same pen. And I found a goat which I can get instead of perhaps a cow. Well, get a goat until I get a cow. Come on sheep, what's the matter with you? Oh, I know what I'm going to have to do. I am going to have to chop this down because he's getting stuck. And if he gets stuck, the cow will get stuck. Alright, now let's try. Are you going to come now? Yeah, there you go. Right, so let's get him in the pen and then see if we can get a cow. Or the goat. I've got to try and remember where the goat was. Hopefully the chicken won't get away. Shut the gate. Let's get the eggs and give him some more seeds. Or the, the egg, I should say. And now the sheep. So wait here and let's feed. I need four wheat and one water. So am I missing wheat? No, I'm not. wheat and water. Not enough resources. What on earth is it talking about? Oh wait a minute, sorry, now I'm looking at the seeds. I'm being a plunker. Right, so I've got so much wheat, that's fantastic. So basically for the sheep, it's not eating my seeds. Thank goodness for that. The chicken's eaten enough of them. Um, but no, it's not the seeds I want, it's the wheat. Let's put the seeds over there. There we go. And you can see, you can get loads of wheat for growing wheat, which is what I'm now going to have to start growing. Another great thing is that you can stand right over here, click on your chicken that's way yonder in the pen, and you can still do your stuff, just like with the sheep. There you go. Right, I've got my first load of wool on the way. Right, let's see if we can get a cow. First things first, before you head out, always remember drop off your claws, pelts and fangs because you don't want to lose any of them. Now I notice when you do the fill it will fill up every category you've already got in here. So you'll notice it will fill up my claws and my fangs which I've got in my pocket and my pelts. So click that, see it's topped up all the items that I've got in here already. So that's cool. Let's have a look. Anything else that I want to drop off? Oh, I need to put these eggs on the ground. I don't want to risk losing them. Because you only get them one at a time. Until I can get more chickens. Let's drop this meat off. My meat is building up nicely. Um, what else do I need to drop? Uh, that'll do for now. 
Oh, I did get some more. I was meant mining. I got some more iron ore. Oh, these apples I don't need on me. Where did I put the apples? Oh, there. Apples will be used in a better food later on, I believe, so that's why I'm saving them. What I should do though is plant some more wheat. So let's first get water actually. And grab all of these. And now plant some wheat. Right, good. Is that goat done his wool yet? Yeah? Yep, wool is done. So grab that, refeed. Grab that, refeed. Yeah, so once I get more animals in there, this is going to get so quick at getting these items, it would be really cool. Um, that to me is a perfect sized uh, pen because when you lead them in and get to this side, the animals within the area, so it's easy to get them into the pen. Trouble is though, I'm not sure as I get more animals in here whether they're going to start wandering off ones that get too near to the gate. Oh, we'll see. Okay, so that's another egg, so I've got 11 eggs now. And starting to get wool. So let's put the wall over here. In fact, no, let's put the wall near the tailoring table, which of course is in that. Ah. Right, okay, let's drop off this iron ore. I don't want to risk losing that. As you can see, I'm getting quite a bit of iron now. And he goes to stick stacks of 50, unfortunately. But we've got plenty of ground to drop on, so that's okay. Right, let's see if we can get a cow. Just wait for it to become daylight. Let's see if we can make a lantern. Oh, I need butter and clay. No, I'll make them off camera. It'll be daytime soon enough. Let's go look for the goat. That's what I want the goat. Then we can get milk on the go as well. So then that'll be eggs, wool, and milk. Feathers, I'm not really bothering with at the moment. Um, when I get the poison arrows, then that'll be something to consider. If the poison is not difficult to get, if I don't have to keep dying in order to get the poison. Ah, why is there a fox here? Right, I got you. Oh no, don't go in the water. Now, yeah, I can still get the stuff, so it's not a problem if they go in the water, you can still loot them. Right, uh, I don't have to worry about that fox keep attacking me. Where was this goat? It's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. If you hear a goat or see a goat, let me know. I think it was over this way towards the coast. We're going to hear him or see him. Oh, another fox. a chicken. Hmm, let's grab the chicken because 
I can get two eggs at a time then. So let's put my traps. Come to me, Mr. Chicken. Oh, wrong one. Come on, you know you want to be in my home. No. Got to deal with this. I'll get too many. I'll die. Oh, and I think that's too many. No, it's not, actually. I'm definitely getting better because of the higher damage I'm doing. Yeah, nice. No running off. Oh, let's grab all of this stuff. Wheat and coffee is definitely great stuff to keep picking. And there's a load of wheat here. Oh, I can hear that chicken. He's not got away. Or is that another chicken? Lettuce is used for a good recipe later on, so my advice, grab the lettuce when you see it. In fact, grab everything. You've got plenty of room on your, in your base to just drop it all on the floor. Right, now I don't know if this is the same chicken, but we will try again. Straight into the goblins. But fortunately, he didn't run off too far. Let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. There we go. Got Mr. Chicken. Right, follow me. Now, question to y'all Can you tame and lead more than one animal at a time? So let's see, shall we? I thought I said then to follow me. Yeah, I did. Right, so I'll pick up them wheat and stuff another time. Oh, poor. Nice. Is that chicken following me? Or have I got a rebellious chicken? I think I've got a rebellious... Oh no, he is following me. Look at him in his little wings. Right, okay, where's this goat? I want me a goat. There's a fox. Oh, another chicken. How about we do two chickens in? Yeah, see, that bit of extra damage is the difference between them getting away. Right, let's grab two chickens then. The goat can be in another episode. But it'll be a good one. Okay, so come to me, Mr. Chicken. No, don't waste all my traps. There we go. So tame. There we go, we've got a chicken. So follow me. So can we tame and lead more than one chicken? And the answer to that is yes, we can tame and lead two animals. Okay, question to y'all. Can you tame and lead three animals? All right, let's find out. Can we tame a rabbit? No. See, when it breaks up like that, it's I've wasted a load on the ball and it just kept breaking up. So the answer to that is it doesn't look like we can tame a rabbit. They're obviously just for the cook pot. But let's see if we can find another chicken or a goat or a cow. Oh, we got a boar. Get a nice lot of gold coins and stuff. Um, let's see, I need to heal up. Let's eat some meat. And keep looking for another animal. No, not a fox. I want something I can tame. Well, at least it didn't get away. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, bugger. 
Here's the timer and there's the bear. So we'll finish this episode off with a bear. There we go. Getting lots of meat, fangs and claws, which is very, very cool. Okay, so I'm going to take these two chickens back. Um, we can perhaps try and tame and lead more animals in another episode. For now, though, um, let's just show to see if we can go through the teleport with the animals and whether they'll still be with us. I want to try and demonstrate as much as I can. So here we go. I'm going to try and see. We're going to see what happens when you go through a teleport with some tamed animals. See if they follow us back to the base or whether I lose them. Little tests like this, I think, are very useful. Oh, for goodness sake, get my app together. Right, so I lost the chickens. Let's go back to Mars. So don't try and lead your animals through the teleport. I'm sure it must have been. Oh no, it wasn't Mars, was it? It was southeast. There they are. So don't try and lead your animals through the teleport. Now, did they lose their... No, they're both still on follow me. Okay, I'll lead them back. So you've learned something new there as well. And that's what I want to do. Give you all the gameplay basics and we'll move on to the advanced stuff as we go. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.